The earliest known, still surviving, images of Dunblane Cathedral are two engravings which appeared in a collection called Theatrum Scottiae by John Slezer, published in 1693. John Slezer, who was born sometime before 1650 and lived until 1717, was a Dutch or German-born military engineer, artist and ordnance surveyor. He arrived in Scotland in 1669 and was appointed surveyor of His Majesty's stores and magazines. In other words, his job was to compile an accurate record of ordnance and fortifications in the country. Having accurate maps, plans and drawings of buildings was taken very seriously by the Government of Scotland at the time. Slezer is best known for his Theatrum Scottiae, a series of engravings of views of castles, cathedrals, abbeys, towns and major buildings which he encountered while travelling throughout Scotland in his capacity as captain of the artillery company. It provides the most comprehensive and detailed record of the built landscape at that time. One of the two images of Dunblane in Slezer's Theatrum Scottiae gives a view from the other side of the river, the Allan Water, across farmland depicting stooks or stacks of hay which have yet to be gathered in, and where boats can be seen in the river. This view is from the bridge crossing the river all of the way up to the cathedral, with a depiction of the extensive ruins of the bishop's palace to the right of the cathedral as we view it. The other image is a closer view of Dunblane Cathedral. The building to the left and rear of the cathedral in this image is often thought to be a representation of the bishop's palace. However, in the map drawn by Sheriff Hugh Barclay around about 1829 to 1833, that illustrated building has the ground plan and location of what is identified as the Archdeacon's Manse, now where the current car park is, to the rear of the cathedral. To the far right of the image, at the east end of the cathedral building itself, can be seen an external staircase leading to a door into the cathedral. This staircase does not appear in any later illustrations or plans of Dunblane Cathedral.